Okay, today I'm going to do a presentation on caseware and case view. Two tools that accountants use to do their stuff and what have you. Uh, trial balances and all that. First I'll try to explain what a trial balance is and how that relates to creating financial statements. Yada yada blah blah. Okay, let's take a look. I've opened up the sample company and I'm in Ubuntu Linux using my caseware. And I'm using Case for 2001, if you're wondering. Uh, there's a reason why I'm using Case for 2001 and not 2009. Uh, it won't work with 2009. And Linux using uh, Crossover Office from CodeWeavers.com. Shameless plug. Okay. So um, I gather anybody, if anybody's looking for caseware uh, in a search and finds this video, they're, they're CPAs. If you're not a CPA and you happen to be somebody that just kind of watches my videos um, for whatever reason, um, this uh, uh, you could use some more detail about what a trial balance is. I guess I'll, in accounting, so I guess I'll just go real quick and easy try to uh, explain. Uh, basically, when you keep track of money, it's like physics. For every action, there's an equal, equal and opposite reaction. So when you receive money, uh, you, you know, obviously money goes in either your pocket or the bank account, and the real balance of such said, of said number, uh, let's say for, in this fiction, fictional example, is a thousand dollars. So you start at zero, now it's a thousand. And the question is, well, why did you get that money? Is it income? Is it you know? Is it a gift? Is it a loan? Et cetera, et cetera. Debits always equal credits, and that's the reason why, in one sense, on the cash sense, and then based upon that principle, apply to other types of assets. And assets are basically probable future economic benefits uh, that are derived by past transactions or events. Is what I learned in, at USC, but they're probably uh, uh, saying it's different now. Anyway, so basically we'll take a look here at Caseware. We see that we have, this is a sample company that came with Caseware, and we can see that there's all these different balances. Near the bottom down here, there's a zero down there, and that's the total, right? And it should prove to you that's a total. Um, I will delete the 11200, and you can see and there appears 11200. And Next thing, if anybody ever asks you what a debit or a credit is, go tell them they're full of shit because the thing is is that those are just uh, two ends of the spectrum of the equal and opposite reaction measurement. Now, normally a, a cash is debit, that's the convention, it's been chosen on that and everything, and, you know, everything else is based on that. Uh, you might be surprised that revenue is shown as a negative, but negative represents credit in our case. And, just as easily you can have a trial balance function off of having uh, all your assets be credits and all your um, uh, <laughs> you, you, know, you can choose to go the opposite way if you really wanted to in theory but no one really does it. The common practice is, is to make cash and assets debits uh, but uh, the, the oddity comes into place when you're talking about um, income showing as a negative but just remember, these aren't really negatives or positives. These are just absolute value directions. And, uh, you know, so when it cash is basically is generally an absolute value at the end of the year, all your uh, uh, deposits and all your withdrawals from the bank account uh, is the absolute value of the sum of all those things. Uh, am I using absolute? Yeah, I'm using absolute value in the wrong terminology. Because uh, you would add those negatives, wouldn't you? Uh, anyway, so it's the net value of all those things. I'm not a mathematician. I just, I just do simple math, and I know that <laughs> in some cases there are certain rules you can go by. That if your bottom line down here, uh, debit, don't equal credit, something's wrong with your accounting records. But computerization has done a lot to alleviate that. Okay, so what happens? Uh, what, how does case war work in general? Okay, so up here they've got these things called map numbers, right? And so what ends up happening is, is that all these accounts that are grouped by uh, the same map number, you could you can query the database uh, that Caseware has, and you can ask it to give you answers based upon 
uh, similar mapping numbers. So this is this becomes useful because you want to know if you have thousands of different accounts, you want to not have to use your calculator. You want all these different accounts to be added for you, such as cash, so you can have one cash number to put in your financial statement versus six or seven, and uh, it just makes for a cleaner presentation, or hundreds in some cases, maybe. Now, there are some things when you get into really complicated uh, financial statements, and I'm just going to jump, sorry folks, uh, going into accounting land, I can't teach an accounting lesson right now. I'm talking to the accountant. So I, what I want to do is I want to present some useful things that I found when I was doing case view. What case view is, and I'm going to get into, before, actually before I even get into that, I'm going to get some criticism of case view and, and, and caseware in general. Uh, the, at the end of the day, to use case view, um, you're required to do some programming. That, in and of itself, I would say that that programming is just as difficult or if not more difficult than using Linux. And so I would gather that there's only about 5% of the CPAs out there really using case view. It's a very powerful thing and it could work right and do well for you, but you also have to think ahead as to what you actually want to accomplish first. Or you have to emulate a design that your firm already has in place. Okay, case view is a, is a second application, but it comes with caseware. Uh, so let me describe this. Okay, let's go here. Oh, let's click on documents here. I guess this is a different presentation than the current caseware. But when you're in case view, you can see, um, like here, is it? <laughs> They're Canadian. Client's letter of representation. Or in America, we call it a representation letter. They're kind of wordy there in Canada, eh? Okay, so anyway, let's just try to show you what this can do. Case, where, case view kind of tries to do too much. This is my criticism. It tries to do too much, and in the process of doing too much, it doesn't actually do anything that well. It, it, it does, it's able to, in one way, powerfully collect all the data that underlies uh, your client's information that's in a trial balance and put it into a financial statement, but it is very, very weak and archaic when it comes to using the interface to set up your templates, and so a lot of people end up just using Excel. And ePACE at one point was popular, but I, a lot of the time I find that people who use Excel that aren't willing to exercise their brains a little bit end up fucking up in one way or the other on their financial statements. Um, excuse my English, but um, that's the way it is. And so what ends up happening is they might just... A popular thing that usually happens is net assets gets plugged. When they can't figure out why everything, you know, when they start gathering all their different pieces of information from scattered papers across their desks, and keying like a mad fiend into Excel, and they may even do their checkoff list, and I get all these numbers, yes, 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 and someone else checks it, and they're just boggled, and they don't know why. Why is it that supposedly I have this much in net assets, but uh, last year, uh, but uh, because assets minus uh, liabilities equals this, this, net ass this amount of net assets, but uh, my total net assets from the year prior um, those uh, don't add up to that number that I have. Why is that? Why is that? Well, um, and they end up saying, well, it must be that that was wrong, so we'll go with this. Well, oftentimes what happens is they actually forgot or missed somewhere amongst the piles of papers on their desk or scattered somewhere or miscommunication between more than one person working on the financial statements that they missed a whole group of accounts that are actually balance sheet accounts and they ended up in effect writing it off, closing it to retained earnings before the year ended, magically, and uh, starting off with a, a retained earn, earnings balance that um, <laughs> really is, at the beginning of the year, it's really partially reflective of the end of the year retained balance, retained earnings balance, and the only net income they can account for makes the two tie together. 
Uh, it's a complicated thing to say, but it does happen often, especially when people don't. So a case where it allows you to do is if you've thought through uh, your, your, your templates and your different printouts and your different designs that you use, it lets you know that you're missing something because, um, well, because of the way you design it, you know, which is, of course, in your hands. Let me take a look at something here. I may not have much luck. Yeah, it's wine is crashing when I go into case view. So there's your sales point on using Linux and wine in case view 01. Um, Woohoo! So I'm going to try a case for 98. I think it is. It might be 2000, and it may work a little better for me. So. I'm going to show you how to install this in case you want to know, but you probably don't because it's probably not going to work perfect for you. Uh, there's a 50-50 chance that you can uh, install Linux and have absolutely no problems out of the box, and there's another 50% chance you're going to have some kind of problem with something or other. Uh, so basically, if you want to just surf the web and you're in particular, if sound doesn't always work or various things, or if you have an extra bootloader entry, uh, yeah, use Linux, but it, it just Linux just needs a just a little bit of polish and a little more cooperation amongst the developers and they're not there so that's this is not by any means a sales point I happen to like re recording my videos here because I don't have to I, yeah I'd rather just upload my videos here from Linux and I'm just a stubborn son of a bitch I'm gonna use it as much as I can even if it causes you and me to waste our time in the first half of my presentation okay <laughs> so <laughs> this is how you install it <coughs> So I'm going to go into crossovers already installed. Uh, I did a presentation on installing it somewhere in one of my things, but um, I'm not going to do it now. And if I didn't, too bad. Okay, select the installer, and let's see, where am I? What am I doing here? I'm going to go to my mount point, which you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but that's okay. Um, let's see, out of date, out of date programs. Let's see, case one. I got it at 98, but I don't really don't think it's 98. And install. Case where this was, I, I checked this out probably back in 2002, and I found that I was surprised it had been set up. Something happened to the way database engines render around 2001, and Wine just has not caught up with that at all. <laughs> I mean, it's Adobe Acrobat 4. I, I'm just clicking yes to everything. I'm just doing. The only reason why I'm installing this is for demonstration purposes. Sure, I'll restart my computer, but wait, it's not going to restart. What's going to happen? I'm going to get a simulated restart from Crossover. Woohoo! I don't have to restart because I'm in a little simulated environment down there. Does it matter? No doesn't matter. Okay, so we'll let it do its thing. I guess the only error there was that it just doesn't render right. Now hopefully when I go into case where 2000, I'm not going to have any. I'm going to open the sample company. comes with this thing, and this looks a little more. Okay, let's see. We'll find out right now if case view is going to run. Yes, it runs. Okay, good. Now I can show you what it is, but we're 10 years behind on the technology. But some of the principles remain the same. Okay, so here we are. What case we're allows you to do is check, oh, on an auditor's report. And then based on the fact you're doing an auditor's report, you collect an auditor's report. We have audited the blah, blah, blah. Or if you want it to be a compilation report, you like that, and you like that. We have compiled. Aha! Uh -huh. See? So it changes things based on, you know, you don't have to keep redoing these things in theory. The problem is you got to get the programming right, and all this stuff is, the engine behind it is all programming. I'm going to stop, and I'm going to get into some details I found that be useful.